Right there we have three partial turkey carcasses. That's my Renaissance Bulldog Wrecker on the right. His sister Magi. My Blue Bay Shepherd Kurgan. And Lycan Shepherd Ulu. And this is going to be a pack feeding video. A uh, pack mukbang, or as uh, I've coined, a pack bong video. I hope you enjoy. Now, for those who will ask, Where's Lobo and Oscar? Uh, they're just in the house eating. These are the uh, four dogs I decided to use for this video. I give the uh, older dogs a break from all the kids. Now this isn't the only meal these puppies will have today. This is more a uh, group feeding exercise to help uh, develop and maintain a happy pack dynamic. They will get a meal later on today by themselves. Wrecker can never make his mind up when there's a bunch of stuff to choose from. He runs from one piece to another. As I like to say in all my videos, I like to pet my dogs when they're eating. Helps keep them from becoming food aggressive. I've been doing them with them since they were puppies. If you've been following my uh, food aggression videos, you know I uh, was working with the puppies on that. And you can see they're all fine too. You're out in Lou as well. Again, the rest of this uh, carcass went to Lobo and uh, Oscar, who are in the house eating right now. They got the legs and wings. They no longer have to crush the bones up for the puppies. They're now old enough to handle them. You don't have to worry about bones with dogs as long as they are raw. It's cooked bones that are dangerous. Cooking the bone changes the consistency of the bone. Makes it indigestible, prone to both obstructions and perforations of the bowel. Raw bones are fully digestible. The same goes with raw food bacteria. It's not an issue at all. 36% of dogs have salmonella. It's a natural part of their gut flora. They aren't humans. They do have stronger digestive juices and a shorter G tract than we do, making them biologically designed to handle it.
again this isn't their only meal today this is more a uh, snack uh, again and an exercise I do a few times a week just to develop and maintain a healthy pack dynamic it prevents things like fights at least that's been my experience but hey don't take my word for this stuff I'm just some guy in YouTube I have owned bred and rescued dogs for over 30 years and was an animal warden for almost two decades but I don't claim to be any kind of expert well I did work with uh, dogs professionally for again almost two decades I don't call myself any kind of expert and I do always recommend you do your research when you're watching things online I've provided plenty of links in the video description by vets and other uh, reputable sources that will help you do that Lulu coming over to say thank you Magi working on her piece. Yeah. Maybe we'll, uh, picking up a little chunk from Wrecker over there. It's a chilly day today. We had some big storms over this last week. right there catching any scraps that fall out of his mouth. <laughs> Imagine has got the last remaining piece here. Siblings, huh?
Now again, this is all healthy behavior and this is the dogs teaching each other their boundaries and setting up their place within the pack. She's defending something like this. Don't let the noisy displays fool you. Sounds like my daughter when I used to have to wake her up in the morning for high school. Come on, Kurgan, let me film. Stop it. Now, while they were doing that, Kurgan took his chance to move in and grab it. That was fun to watch these two. Yeah, he told her no, that's fine. You see he's not hurting the puppy. Again, this is all dogs being dogs and learning to develop a healthy pack dynamic. To knock them both down. He's funny. He, he always uses things like a little altar to eat it off of. You saw him earlier using the racks over there. Now he's using the log. Do the log. <laughs> He's a very smart dog. He's the smartest dog I've ever owned, hands down. He does things sometimes that just amaze me. I'm not saying regarding this, I'm just saying in general. He's a very intelligent dog, very easy to train.
I always enjoy watching the interplay of the dogs. Teaches you a lot about canine behavior. Now again, don't be fooled by the growling and the other various noises. You know, the puppies doing their little squabbling. No one was hurt or bit. This is all just part of canine communication. And again, this is how a pack would feed and operate in the wild. And it's by letting them interact this way and develop their own hierarchy that I'm able to have multiple dogs and more bites. Well, again, he didn't hurt that puppy. You don't see that puppy running away crying. And this teaches these puppies to be respectful and well-balanced dogs as adults. Now, when people watch Dulu's litter and me doing this with her litter, people said, oh, you're going to make those dogs food aggressive. You can see how Ulu acts with these puppies and my other dogs. That was not the case. Again, go back to look at my videos from uh, May uh, 2017 and so on the channel, and you'll see me feeding her litter the same way. You'll see Yahoo is in the comments claiming I'm going to make the dogs mean and aggressive. And you can see now Ulu, Kurgan, are able to feed in a group with these puppies. Nobody's hurt. And it's typical canine pack behavior, healthy behavior. I have to re-block my yard there. That's uh, what the uh, gravel is. Uh, I'll be doing that this spring. <laughs> And again, there's no blood. The puppy wasn't hurt. If she was hurt, she would have run away crying. She's just being taught the proper way to act within the pack. No, I don't uh, represent myself as any kind of uh, canine behaviorist, nutritionalist, or anything like that. So take anything I say with a grain of salt. It's all... Bro science on my part, picked up from, again, 30 years experience breeding, rescuing dogs, almost 20 years experience being an animal warden. I do have a lot of experience working with animals, but I'm far from an expert. Do your research. That's all. Like, subscribe, and share. I provided several links in the video description that will tell you all you need to know if you want to start feeding a raw diet. Make sure you look there before you ask me any questions. Welcome to all the new subscribers on the channel, and uh, thank you to everybody who's been supporting me along the way. That's all. Bye. Bye from Miss Magi, Mr. Wrecker, my homie Mr. Kurgan, and Miss Ulu. Oh, that sounds like some neighbor's dogs fighting across the alley over there. <laughs> Oops. That's all. Bye.